All right, happy Thursday. We're on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer talking about the markets. And Jim, we'll begin with Qatar's potential stake in American Airlines. Yeah, well, this is shocking. We've got tremendous coverage here on the street because the pilots don't want it. And obviously, Doug Parker has been the most uh, adamant that these different airlines from the United Arab Emirates and, and Qatar uh, don't play fair. And so it's this is real oil and water, and I'm kind of shocked about it. Uh, we can't get a line on it. I don't think American really has a line on it. Uh, but I reiterate that the airlines are undervalued. Now, we uh, did some trading uh, in Southwest. People should go to their bulletins for American, for actionalersplus.com because of the American news. Uh, and, and we have a little bit of analysis there. But I would point out that these are cheap, nine times earnings. Uh, do they want to just make an investment? It's odd. They are hated by the CEO. Okay, and then also there's acquisition talk about Staples. Yeah, now this is interesting. It's a Reuters story. We don't know whether it's definite, definite yet. The reason why it's interesting is because this is Nordstrom and now Staples uh, private equity. The story is that it's Sycamore. They're very smart buyers. And what that means is, is that I think some of the private equity companies are saying, wait a second. Not everything's going to be destroyed by Amazon. Now, Staples has had a low multiple forever because they weren't allowed to do a deal with a competitor. But most importantly, because people feel that Amazon is just such a better way to get uh, the things that Staples sells. So if someone sees value in Staples and someone sees value in Nordstrom, then there is going to be eventually a sense that everything got oversold. I point this out because uh, Action Alerts owns TJX. It's the biggest winner in what's happening uh, with Amazon against Macy's and JCPenney uh, and Sears, and we wrote extensively about Sears, fabulous mm -hmm. stuff in the street. Uh, so there's going to be a bifurcation. PVH, Matt Boss, JP Morgan mm -hmm. writing today a fantastic piece about her, their benefit of Amazon. Uh, I believe very, very strongly that TGX is a benefit of Amazon, but right now they're all trading down, TGX being an ETF. Um, I would love to say go buy uh, TGX, but I'm very conscious of the fact that right now we're still in the grips of what I regard as being a, a phenomenal hatred of, of uh, retail. But Staples means something. It means that the very smart people think that there's some values being created by this Amazonian conflict. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and PVH was your mad dash. Yes. Um, and staying with Amazon, JP Morgan also had a note saying that they, they have a hard time finding an, another bidder for Whole Foods that yeah, would I mean, top you know, Amazon. I, I have to tell you, when Whole Foods went over 43, there was a lot of chatter that Walmart had to come in, but Amazon should just continue to outbid Walmart. I mean, I would have, if I were Walmart, I would have come in just to make Amazon pay more uh, because there's a big uh, anti Amazon backlash, and here's where I'm seeing it. Uh, on the Oracle conference call, Larry Ellison said, listen, if you go to the cloud, use the Oracle cloud, we're much cheaper. Uh, Walmart is saying, listen, if you do business with the Amazon cloud, we want you off that. Uh, you can go to Google, to the Outfit cloud, and you can go to Azure. Uh, Red Hat, which I had on last night, which is still a cheap stock, was saying that you, they'll help you off that with basically one click. So Amazon better not get cocky because there are people, people now gunning for Amazon. And by the way, Walmart stock isn't down that much after that acquisition. So I think that while Amazon looks like it has a cakewalk, be careful because these other companies, you could turn off the oxygen to the Amazon Web Services if everyone ganged up on them. And the reason I say that is because Google has its own data centers and is a very inexpensive web service. And Azure, Microsoft, a stock I love, and not as much as we love Google, it's a big business for actual alerts, but Microsoft's also a buy, uh, and the Azure has come on very strong. So it's not Amazon's game entirely yet. Don't get too cocky, Amazon. Good advice. All right, Jim, we loved your interview with the Adobe CEO on Mad Thank Money you. last yeah, night, specifically the character video. animated. I mean, it's well, hilarious. He's only done the, those for the presidential candidates and for Homer Simpson. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Adobe Sens Sensei, and the way it works is that because there's an NVIDIA chip, NVIDIA and AMD, as I pre predicted, would be a little too hot. So if you want to start buying now, that's fine. Um, as I said last night on Mad Money. But what it does is that it looks at you and instantaneously it mimics you. Um, and that's NVIDIA's artificial intelligence combined with the software that Adobe has. Uh, I, and I, you keep in mind that at one point when cartoons were first created, they required hundreds of thousands of drawings. Here's a product that will be available that makes it so that you can do cartoons. I mean, it, it's going to be fabulous for anybody who is a subscriber to Adobe. They, it's an action alerts name. I continue to think Adobe trades dramatically higher, hmm. dramatically. It is the key to cloud commerce for everyone. And don't forget Photoshop. And don't forget you've got PDF. Those are two verbs. To P I'll, I'll PDF it and I'll Photoshop it. 
Uh, Shantanu and Orion understated uh, remarkable software as a service stock. Hmm. Important holding for actual earnings. Yeah, and it's you know it's growing in, in the mid twenties. This is a billion dollar company. It's not often you find that. I mean, everyone loves Oracle today because it's a billion dollar company. It's growing in the low single digits, and it should be loved. I get that, but uh, but Adobe's not up enough. Even though people would say, wait a second, it's like Fang. It should be the A in Fang. Yeah. Any other thoughts on Oracle's earnings? I liked it. I liked the quarter. A lot of back padding by Mark Hurd and by Larry Ellison, by Safra Katz, but they deserve it. They've made the transition that IBM has not been able to make yet. They went from, um, they did cloud without taking down their other business. Now, I mean, cloud, when you move to the cloud, saves you, it's like a four to one ratio, according to Morgan Stanley. Cost you $4 to have what's known at, you know, on-premise uh, client server versus putting it in the cloud. That costs $4 more than having it in the cloud. So you would have thought that maybe, uh, that maybe Oracle would get hurt in its gross margins as customers go to the cloud. That did not happen. Safra Katz made that very clear. Mark Hurd talked about all the new customers, really extraordinary. Larry Ellison talked about how they're doing better than Salesforce. Now remember, they have cloud verticals that are wider than Salesforce. They have enterprise resource planning. Uh, and he also talked about taking on Amazon. And like I said, Larry Ellison is not to be trifled with, and Doug McMillan is not to be trifled with, and these people are taking on Amazon. So again, I'm going to warn Amazon not to be too cocky. Hmm. All right, Jim, we know how much you love the Apple services space. There are reports that Apple might be looking to cut ro record royalties on Apple Music. You know, look, Apple is uh, very much uh, a stock and a company that everything they do is underrated but anything they do that increases the service revenue stream is extraordinary for me, and I like it. Please do not forget, you know, people, there were some, the last downgrade said that the services revenue is not going to be that strong. The new phone is going to have a lot of artificial intelligence, and it's going to have a lot of uh, what drove uh, games. It's going to have games that are augmented reality. An augmented reality game that you have to download is a windfall for the Apple store. Remember, Apple, the App Store, Netflix, Costco, Amazon, you could all raise prices for those services and people would still pay. Those are the four that can have inflation. Keep that in mind. Very important. All right, Jim, a few days ago, you named your dog Everest NVIDIA. Yeah, but, I had to. But you said that Bug would not get a name, but now. Well, Bug doesn't answer to me. So, you know, one dog greets me and is very kind to me and wants to sleep with me. The other dog, frankly, is very independent and I feel like kicking it when it's down. And that's why Bug is Chevron. And uh, <laughs> NVIDIA, uh, Mr. NVIDIA, he used to be Everest, now he's Everest NVIDIA, because he eats at the table with me, he's my friend. <laughs> NVIDIA, now let's go over again what I'm saying about NVIDIA and AMD. Uh, these are hot stocks, and hot stocks have to be bought correctly. I think the future's bright for both of them. But the reason why you have to, uh, why you have to uh, invest carefully is, I liked AMD, I've liked AMD since 5, 6 when they did their recap. People say I didn't like it. Once they did the recap, I was all in. But it went to 13, it went to 14 in April and then plummeted to 10. Everybody who bought it at 14 hated me, even though I've been recommending it from 5, 6. Everybody who bought it hated me. So what I am saying is, this is a stock that went from 14 to 10. It could do, it could go from 14 to 12. And I don't want to be hated anymore, okay? I don't want, like Tina Turner says, I don't want to fight no more, okay? It's time for letting go of the fighting, because Tina really had game. And uh, pump a lot of tain down in New Orleans. And so I feel very strongly that you buy some right here, and then you buy some lower. Both those stocks. And we want everyone to tweet you a picture of their dog yeah, with I a Yeah, I mean, stop. with the name. Now, we've gone over some of these. I mean, for instance, someone had the goal I, I to name their stock, to name their dog. Uh, Brexit. A uh, Brexit. I mean, are you kidding me? The <laughs> dog is just from, it's clearly Slumberjays, that dog's last name. Now, there are some dogs that are correctly matched with names, and I, I appreciate that. And then some other people just really don't understand that, you know, when you name your dog after Lulu, I want someone named the dog after you, Mr. Lulu. I mean, that dog, that dog is disappointed repeatedly, so I don't know what that dog does around the house. Maybe it's not housebroken. But I urge you to continue to send me your pictures, and enough with the poodles. Right. I mean, all the poodles, are, they want to be named Amazon. Every poodle wants Amazon. No, the, I mean, the Amazon family is very big. I mean, maybe every poodle's related to each other, and it's one big Amazon family. But I don't know. It seems a little strange. I think that name has been taken. Yes, yes. Please, move on from Amazon. It's been taken, I like that stuff. <laughs> All right, let's talk about earnings to watch. Uh, tomorrow we've got BlackBerry. 
Yeah, I mean, BlackBerry really delivered last time, and once you get on a roll with intellectual property, you continue to get on a roll. And I think that BlackBerry will be fine, but the big move has been made. You know, some people say, by the way, in my, in my uh, uh, stop trading, I talked about Carnival. A lot of people think the Carnival move has been made. I think that's wrong. I think Carnival should be bought. I felt that way about FedEx yesterday. It was knocked down at the beginning and then rallied. Why Carnival? It's got three, three reasons. One is the numbers were extraordinary, and they raised forecast. Two, it's very tight, as my friend Matt Horwin trying to do. Very tight for 2018. It's almost sold through for 2018 at much higher prices. That's extraordinary. And three, they are the biggest beneficiary of the companies I follow of lower oil. And boy, do we ever have lower oil. All right, and then what about the finish line? A finish line? No. I mean, that's, geez, they're finished. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, I look at uh, what happened to Foot Locker, which is a much better company. Uh, it is interesting that Nike, they say, listen, they might be on Amazon. Meanwhile, as Matthew Boss said, uh, BBH is on Amazon already and they have a great time with it. There's a lot of uh, disconnection between what Amazon's destroying and what it's not, and I may focus on that tonight. Oh, and Jim, also tonight, uh, you have Irene Rosenfeld on. Yeah, now Irene's done a remarkable job in terms of margin expansion, truly extraordinary. Not getting enough credit, has a lot of firepower, can buy back stock, could be acquired, could make acquisitions. She has done a remarkable job in a very challenged industry, and I can't wait to speak to her. Another incredible week for Med Money. Well, it's a big week, you know, not unlike Feb 20 to Feb 25, when the Allies did their daylight precision bombing and really took apart a lot of German cities. Ah, all right. Jim Kramer, that's thank 6 p.m. Eastern. Jim, thank you. Thank you. All right, and for more of the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.